Hi guys, so two of our three classes wrapped up this week, which means it's final season. So I spent a fair amount of time in the library with my laptop and whiteboard studying. Finals marks the halfway point of the semester, which means we now get a week long break. Uh, my friends and I went separate ways for the break, but we grabbed one last dinner before we all left, which was really nice. Since I have family in Belgium, I decided to visit them for the break. We went all over the country and we even spent a weekend in Paris. I had such a good time and I cannot wait to show you guys. My flight to Belgium was actually my first time flying completely solo without parents or friends or anything. I remember I did not get a lot of sleep the night before, but luckily I landed safe and sound and I was picked up by my cousin Kevin at the airport. The first thing we did was visit the Atomium sculpture. Uh, we didn't do much else that day just because as soon as I got back to his house, I knocked out in bed, but at least I was able to get some extra rest before our trip to Paris. Before you came around, my cousin lives literally a 30 minute drive from the Belgium-France border, so we were able to casually drive into France and take a train into Paris. Before we began our adventures through the city, we checked into our hotel and honestly, it was kind of nice staying in a hotel after many weekends staying in hostels. We got lunch at an outdoor cafe where I learned how to eat a sandwich with a fork and knife. Definitely one of the more European things I've done during my time here. <laughs> We took the metro back to our hotel to recharge before going out to visit the most iconic landmark in Paris, the Eiffel Tower. I'm really glad we went to see the Eiffel Tower at night. One, because it looks so pretty with all the lights, but two, we were able to grab dinner maybe like 100 feet away from the Eiffel Tower, which was really good. And plus, I got to try real French creme brulee for the first time. <laughs> Our second and last day in Paris started with a lovely brunch buffet provided by our hotel, after which we took the metro over to the Louvre Museum. After spending just 10 minutes inside the Louvre, you kind of begin to understand why so many people think this is the greatest art museum in the world. Eventually, we found ourselves in the room where the Mona Lisa was displayed and there was actually um, a line, a separate line, to take a picture in front of it, but we found that you could see it just fine from the side, so we just settled for that. Mm -hmm. 
Our next stop was the Champs-Élysées, which is home to the Arc de Triomphe and some of the biggest fashion houses in the world. One of the biggest cheesy tourist things I wanted to do while we were in Paris was buy a beret, so I'm really excited that I got to do that. The macarons from La Durée were insanely good. Every single flavor was so nice, and I figured out that it's actually a chain and there's a location right here in Dublin, so I'll probably be checking that out soon. Back in Belgium now, we spent this day in Ghent, which is the city that Kevin goes to school in. Very different visually from Paris, but beautiful nonetheless. This castle looking building in particular caught my eye. I thought it must have been some sort of historical monument, but then Kevin informed me it's actually a department store. So naturally I went in and I dragged Kevin in with me. Riding bikes is really big around here, so much so that they have dedicated parking garages for bikes, which I thought was pretty cool. Our day in Ghent ended with a really great dinner at a restaurant right next to the river. I would definitely want to go back to Ghent again, just great vibes and great food. My last full day in Belgium was spent split between two cities, the first of which was the capital, Brussels. The architecture here was gorgeous, but without a doubt the most beautiful was this statue of a peeing boy. Just, ugh, what a masterpiece. I also tried the first of many Belgian waffles here in Brussels. It was so good. I'm so happy I finally got to try one. Later on, we hopped on a train to spend the second half of our day in Bruges. I liked Bruges a lot, it was a lot more medieval looking and a little bit quieter compared to Brussels. I only spent three full days in Belgium, but honestly I felt like I could have spent a whole week there. It was so great. Paris too, it was beautiful. Gotta give a quick shout out to my cousin Kevin for being the best tour guide I could have asked for. I know you're watching this because you ask me every other day, when's the Paris vlog coming out? Uh. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to visit you again and I can't wait for you to visit me again in the States. So it's goodbye from me and Kevin and I will see you guys next time.